this is Netflix Android app built by Netflix. But this one is built by me. And the craziest part is that I built it with only using Termux. I mean only using Termux. And it doesn't even require any root access. Just think about it for a second. You can build your own Android app from scratch using your Android phone. Excited? Yes! I know. So the tool we'll be using is Coldova, which is an amazing open source tool to build applications for Android or for various other platforms. And as Termux is a Linux emulator, we can use Coldova in that to build Android apps. So now we need to have Termux. You can easily get it from the GitHub release or from Android store. And then we need to update Termux repos using pkg update. Next we need to install some dependencies needed to run Cordova like Java, Node.js and wget. And now we have basic stuff done for Cordova setup. So next we need to install tools needed to build an Android app like build tools, platform tools, command line tools, gradle. These tools are already pre-installed in Android Studio. But here in Termux, we need to install them manually. So we'll create a directory under opt. This can be anywhere but it would be better if everything is organized. And this will be the location for storing all the tools needed to build an Android app. And we also need to set up environment variables pointing to this location. So we'll open .bash rc file which basically includes commands to be executed on startup. And here we'll add all the environment variables. Next we will install tools needed for building the app. So first we need to install Gradle. Termux already has Gradle in the repo but it's latest 8.4 which doesn't work with Java 17 which Termux provides. So we need to install Gradle 7.6 which works with Java 17 and don't worry it's easy. So we'll go to this page and here is Gradle version we needed. So we'll click on download binary only and once downloaded we'll get back to Termux and execute this command to give storage access to Termux. We need to do this as the file we downloaded is in the download folders and we need to copy that to Termux. And then we'll go to the directory where we'll be storing all the tools. And now copy the Gradle file and here it is in zip format. So we'll extract that unzip and the file name. And here is the extracted zip file. And we also need to rename the folder to Gradle because that's what we set in the env file or environment files. And now if I execute bash and run Gradle, it's working. So next we need to install command line tools. So we'll go to Android Studio download page and if we scroll down, here is command line tools. So we'll download it for Linux, accept the agreement and then instead of clicking on download, we'll copy the URL and get back to Termux and we'll use wget and the URL to download the tool. And it's here. And here it is in zip format. So we'll extract that unzip and the file name. So now we'll create a directory for storing the tool and then we'll move the tools in that directory. Note that we need to match the directory names with the names we provided environment file. So next we need to install platforms. Don't worry you don't need to get deep into it. Just note that we need it. So we'll use SDK manager which is under command line tools that we just installed. And we'll specify the platform we need. Latest is 34 so we'll go with that. Next, we need to install bull tools. I know it's a lot to do, but it's the last step. 
so we can't use platform and build tools provided by Google as they are not built for ARM architecture. But thanks to this guy who has built it for working with Termux. So we'll copy the URL according to your device architecture. You can check that with this command. And then in Termux, we'll use wget to download the file. And we also need to extract that. And here is build and platform tools. So we'll move the platform tools to the directory we specified in env. And we also need to move build tools. But wait, before that, we'll install Cordova. So using npm install dash g for global Cordova. Give it some time. And now we'll create a Cordova project. Cordova create name of the project directory, package name and name of the app. Ready, hit enter. And here is the project directory. So we'll cd to it. And now we need to add platforms here. As Cordova can build apps for different platforms, we need to specify our own. Here we are building for Android. So we'll execute Cordova platforms at Android. And then Cordova build. And if it shows something like this, just execute bash so that environment variables works for that to use those command line tools. Give it some time. And till that time, you can subscribe to the channel. And here we have an error. And that's because we did not set up build tools yet. But here is what we need. This is build tool version we need. So we'll copy that and create a directory for storing the build tools with the version we copied. And now we can move the build tools we downloaded to the specified directory. And now the last and final fix is left. For that, we need to find gradle.properties file. So we'll execute find dash name to specify the name of the file and the file name, which in our case is gradle.properties. And note that this file will be in Cordova project directory. And we are in that only. And here we have two files, but we need this one. So we'll copy the part and open that file and here at last of this line we'll add following and at last of this file we'll add this and that's it we'll save it with control x y and enter now we can build the app Cordova build it will take some time and it succeed here is our app but this is just a basic Kodo app. Let me show you. We'll copy the app path and we'll copy the app into the file manager and then we'll just install that. And here you can see it's a basic app. So now we'll see how we can add our own code into this app. So Kodo works with HTML, CSS and JavaScript which are stored in www directory here. So we'll remove all the contents of this directory and here I have a HTML, CSS and JavaScript project file which I got from my friend. So we'll copy all that files into this www folder and note that your base HTML file must be named with index.html. And then we can just again build the app, copy the app, install it and here it is. And that's how you can build your own Android app.